Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Bridehop. I am the Unboxing Authority, and today on this episode, we have a bunch of colored outdoor solar lights for like your garden and stuff. These are pretty cool. Let's get these out. There's supposed to be six of them here. And, uh, ooh, wow, I've got 12 of them because they sent me two boxes. So, sweetness. All right, I, I thought maybe I wouldn't have enough, but they sent me 12 of these guys. All right, so I'm going to pull these out. <laughs> maybe they were like, you know, huge or something. I don't know. I thought they there would only be six of them, but I've got 12, so we're going to be setting up 12. I'm not sure how to push the button on these. I know there's an instruction manual, and you got to turn these on before they'll charge or you can use them or whatever. So let's go ahead and see if we can find an instruction manual. There's one. And they've got these extra uh, pegs and stuff to put them together and get them down in the ground. So pretty much like this when they're done. Okay, so we're going to install these, let them charge up and try them at night. Now I don't know how long they're going to have to charge because it's kind of late in the evening. Might have to do this another day. But uh, okay, so on off switch is number four. So we do have to take the top off somehow. Um, let's see, before use, open lid and press the switch. Okay, so how do I open the lid? That's what I need to know. So do I twist it? Do I, how do I open this lid? Do I pull? There it comes. Okay, all right, so. I hope I didn't break it, I don't think I did. Okay, so there you go, you turn it on, and it changes color, and then when it gets in the light, it doesn't do it, so let's go ahead and screw this one back on, so you can see it. Come on now. I know we can do this, just have to line it up. There we go. All right, so now it should be on there. Okay, so there's one, just like that. All right, and we're going to set all these up and put them out. It looks like they're ready to go. So we'll just turn the lights on all of them, assemble them, and I'll go ahead and show you guys again in case you didn't see. So here's here's where the, uh, the switch is on the inside. It's this little white button here. You just push it, turn it on. It's that simple. So, yeah, these guys are ready to go. So I'm going to go outside and install these once I get them all put together here and I'll try to measure so where they're you know equal distance from each other all right so it's winter time the ground is still soft it's warm enough today so I'm gonna put these in I'm gonna put them on facing the inside not towards the street because it's winter time and I want these to get good sunlight and the shrubs and stuff or whatever block them from sunlight so I just want to make sure that they get plenty of sunlight so I'm gonna hurry up and put these in the ground
All right, so the ground is pretty hard. In some places it's completely frozen. So again, because I'm demonstrating these and because I want them to work in the winter time, I decided to install them in places where they'll get the most sunlight. And unfortunately that means I can't put them out on the side towards the street. I can't put them, you know, where I'd like them to be, but they are rated to work in the winter time. It's just you need to make sure they're getting plenty of sunlight. If I put them down my alley, the uh, fence might block the sunlight there. There's just a lot of factors. And so I just thought I'd put them next to the roses on the inside. And then in the spring, I can move them back to the outside. But we'll see how they look tonight. I put one by the mailbox, I put one by the garbage cans, and I put one by uh, an old, well, by the back of my car. And then maybe make it more visible, won't get hit, that sort of thing at night, I don't know. But we'll just give it a try and see how they look tonight. All right. All right, so I put this one here on the corner in the alley by the mailboxes just to make sure that, you know, people don't hit them and that sort of thing, even though they're not my mailbox. I go to the post office. But here's the one down here. It's the one by the end of the car. I just, sorry, I didn't get there. I should go walk there. And then we'll go all the way around and I'll just show them to you real quick. So I did put some out on the corner by the street, but the rest of them are all back there in the, there's one by the car. They're all back there in the yard where the sun can get to them. Cause like I said, in the springtime, I'll put them, I'll put them back where um, they're gonna be closer to the road. But right now I just wanted to get more sun. So there they are out there. There's a bush in the way of that, that one. Um, but there should be should be one out here, I think. No, I put them all put them all back inside. All right, the other ones are all tired out from being cold and stuff and not getting enough sunlight because they're they're in the shade. So that's why I wanted to make sure that I put these ones out right. It looks like one of them might not be on. We'll look over here. I might need to turn one of them back on. No. I guess I didn't put it put it here because there's none here, but here's the ones. So there's one. These do look very nice. I'm very impressed with the colors and just the size of the lights. Alright, well thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe and just bless you. Please click the links in the description of the video. Consider going to our Patreon. Go to ChristianQuartz.com and uh, we just bless you. I put each one of these lights about three steps apart, which is a little more than a yard it looks like. Maybe maybe two yards. Yeah, I think two yards probably. So, alright. Subscriber Bunny agrees that 4K video is good for you. It's good for your health. So make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, subscribe. May just bless you. Please check out ChristianCourts.com and how to build a moped.com and all those other affiliate links and great things and my GoFundMe. Alright. Bye.